Hi, I'm Brittany Ferguson, and my income level is considered low income. My income level affects my everyday spending habits because there isn't a lot to go around, so I'm very, very tight with my money. So an example of me being frugal with my money is the fact that I love, love, love Dollar Tree. I literally shop at Dollar Tree like five times a week, maybe four or five times a week because everything's a dollar and they typically will have pretty much anything I need. So it's my favorite store. My income level definitely affects my social life because I can't, you know, choose to go shopping on Michigan Avenue with my friends. We may be able to go to the mall, but you know, we can't go to like Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom's or something like that. So I definitely prefer to shop more outlet places than more of the high-end retail shops. I can't go there, it's not within my budget. I live paycheck to paycheck. And I live paycheck to paycheck, for instance, my apartment. So I'm still living in the inner city, but because my neighborhood is slightly better, I'm paying at least two to $300 more for my rent here. And so that creates a cycle where I'm always behind because I'm paying my rent and I'm paying my bills and I live alone, so I don't have any assistance. And then I still have all of the other typical bills that everyone else has. I have student loans, I have insurance that needs to be paid, I have to pay for food, I have to pay for gas, I have to commute back and forth to work. So it creates a cycle where there's never an opportunity to actually get ahead. You're always kind of playing catch up and, you know, a couple steps behind where you should be and that there's never a feeling of stability in that. I work full time, I own a business, I try to put as much time and money as I can into my business, but there's a limit as to how far I can grow. There's a ceiling, you know, that I'm trapped under and the water's rising, but I'm not. So it'd be nice to be able to rise.